Station number three, gang, in the rotation is we're doing our leg curl machine, working the hamstrings. Couple settings on this one, we want to do two. There's a handle you're going to see on the side here. What this does is just release to change the position of where when my legs are coming out straight, where, where I'm going to feel comfortable at. I just want to make sure that that's locked in position. So when I sit down, my legs should be coming about straight out um, in, a, in a good straight line. Also, what I want to make sure is this seat adjustment. There's a handle back here that I'm pushing and driving through. The reason why I want to change my position is when I sit down, we'll show you a little bit of close-up on this, this rod that comes out through here, when I'm sitting down, that should be even where my knee joint is at. So this will just be in a direct line with my knee from the post in a direct line with my knee. So as I'm going through my range of motion, I don't want my knee too far forward. So if the post is here and my knee is forward, as I bring that weight back, it's going to put undue stress on that knee joint because it's going to stretch through. If I bring it back through, back too far, I'm not going to get that full range of motion. So I'm going to have Jay come in. I'm going to move this back a little bit. He's a little bit taller. He's got a little bit longer legs. He's bringing that down, putting his legs in. Again, we don't want to make sure, we don't want to put so much force that our knees are going to try to bend the other way because they don't bend that way. It's like sitting in a chair. He's in a good position here. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but his knees in a line, back that line, if I do that line through, this post coming through his knees, and then all he's going to do is hold these handles. He's going to keep his toes flexed back. And he's going to push down, and you should feel this in the back of your legs. It's your hamstring work that you're going to get working on the back side of those legs. When he comes down, there you go. Great job. He's controlling it. So if we did bad, you want to go ahead and clang a couple of them. You'll see people do this, and that's the sound you'll hear. When you start hearing that sound, you know you're trying to go too fast. You don't have good control of the weights. Make sure you have good control. Make sure you're not hurting your knees as you're going through this movement. Great job, Jay.